Hey everybody, RPG here. Today we're going to jump into our GameCube collection on Botticera, and I'm going to show you guys how you can go into your game settings to improve the performance of the game that you're emulating. So, um, my buddy Jose actually pointed out to me that in WWE Day of Reckoning 1 and 2, as soon as you jump into a match, and it doesn't matter what type of match or who you chose as your character, but the um, game starts off and you're doing everything pretty well, and then all of a sudden it starts to go into slow motion, and it's intermittent. It'll just be full speed and then jump over to like slow motion with lags and delays and even some audio cutouts. So super glitchy and you don't want to play a game like that. It's just not a playable experience. So I'm going to show you guys how we can go into our settings, make some adjustments to get rid of all of that and get you back up and running with 100% smooth performance, just like it should have been on the original console. So this fix is going to be demoed on WWE Day of Reckoning, but this will work for any GameCube game where you're experiencing glitches, delays, lags, anything like that. So um, we're gonna jump into Day of Reckoning. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the issues look like. Then we're gonna jump back out, make those settings adjustments, jump back into the game, and you'll be able to see how our performance changed with those settings adjustments. So let's jump into it. All right, so I'm gonna start off by jumping into WWE Day of Reckoning here on the GameCube collection because this game I'm experiencing a whole lot of delays and lags when I jump into any type of match. So this would be a great way to jump in and see if uh, the issues that I'm experiencing here line up with what you're dealing with on your end and whether this fix is going to be the solution for you. So let's jump in here and test it out. All right, so, so far everything looks good, but it should start lagging out pretty quickly here. So there you go. Significant lags there. You can see I'm moving around and it's slow motion. It kind of goes in and out, so it's not consistently terrible, but it makes it pretty unplayable once you get going. So you can see it slowed down there again. Everything's in slow motion right now and then it randomly goes back to uh, full speed. So we're good here. Slow motion again. Slow motion bad right here. And then slow motion again. So we can see here that we're dealing with some significant lags that just kind of cut in and out. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what we need to do to make these changes. And this is going to work on any game in the GameCube collection where you're experiencing similar issues with lags um, of varying degrees. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your specific title that you're experiencing this issue on. You don't want to make these changes across the board because if you have a game that's working perfectly well, there's no reason to go in and start adjusting the settings on there. If it's not broke, don't try and fix it. So I'm going to highlight the game that I want to choose. So you can see here, I'm currently on WWE Day of Reckoning, which is what we just jumped into. And I'm going to hold down my X button. I'm going to hold it for like two seconds and you're going to get this little window that comes up here. So now we're going to drop down to advanced game options down here. Uh, second up from the bottom under options, we'll select that. So this opens up all the different settings that we can go in here and tweak. So for lags or any issues with um, lags or delays or anything like that, where the screen is kind of cutting in and out, or maybe you have some audio that's cutting in and out as well or garbled, um, and they all kind of go together at the same time, you're gonna go down to where it says here, performance hacks, which is the, let me see, one, two, three, fourth option down and it's currently set to auto. We wanna select this and we wanna go and turn it on. So now you can see it's changed to on. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down to GPU sync, which should be right here. Same thing here, select it. And this right below GPU sync says, speed hack for dual core mode to fix some glitches. So we clearly have some glitches in here. Um, so we're gonna select this and turn this on as well. So again, just to go over this once again, we have the GPU sync turned on, and we, our first option was the performance hacks turned on. All we need to do is back out. You can either hit back at the bottom of the um, little window there, or you can just hit your circle or back button, 
And now we can jump back into this title and we're going to go right back into the same match the same way. And I'm going to show you that everything now is going to be working um, perfectly. We're not going to have those lags or delays of any kind anymore in the gameplay. All right, so we're in the same exact match, same exact characters. Nothing has changed other than those settings. So no delays at all anymore. Everything's working 100%. All right, so you can see from this video, the process for jumping into your game settings on GameCube and making these adjustments to take an unplayable GameCube game and bring it right back up to maximum performance is super simple and easy. It only takes a few seconds at the absolute most. Totally worth doing. You're going to have a much better experience playing your favorite GameCube games after doing this. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, smash the like button for me. That would be a huge help. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel, I highly recommend doing that. We do a ton of great videos here based on retro gaming. We do product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials like this video right here, as well as we have the Forgotten Favorites YouTube series every Monday and Thursday night right here on the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel. So best way to stay in the loop is to subscribe. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom corner of this video. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.